Hi, Jason Keeler here, The Property Review Show. Good to see you back. Please like, subscribe, and share to this channel to help us build it up and make it uh, grow. Thank you. Let's take a look at this Beverly Hills 90210 mansion with resort-like grounds. And it is $74.5 million, just a mere amount of loose change uh, for us all. And let's take a look. Uh, listed with uh, WEA Real Estate, we are... And look at the grounds outside here. Look pretty plush, doesn't it? The retaining wall on the pool. And uh, very nice. And this massive hedge here. Then we see the compound. Let's call it a compound because it really is one. And then below here we see also a uh, building as well with uh, doors. So it's a big, big complex. Let's take a look around. Inside we see some massive uh, leather chairs, some wood storage over here, a classic ye olde piece of furnishings with a tablet on top of it. And then these very, very wide uh, wood floors, which looks like they've been taken from somewhere else and put in here and restored to their former glory. Look at this beautiful view here. Massive timber beams in the ceiling there. A beautiful uh, light timber, uh, rather, uh, rather exquisite as well. And then we see this L-shaped uh, sofa with a, an interesting uh, steel cabinet on the fireplace uh, for safety reasons but very nice must have some kids here uh, double double doors outside french doors out there but the uh, the windows above the beams there are what says it all and they give us a lot of natural light into this very vibrant and crisp looking building 74 and a half million dollars it is a lot of cash a massive uh, dining table there with this very amazing illuminated art here circular art which looks quite textured. And then the viewers outside with lots of natural light catching those beams in the back. It looks like a corporate office, and that's because of these pictures up here. And this is most likely, uh, it looks like buildings in the city, actually. I was going to say this could be a gallery of this house being restored. But no, it uh, looks like buildings and architecture around the place, which gives us a few clues on who may own this uh, property. So there we have it through into the rest of the building here. Well, a close-up look at a different angle, to be quite honest. And into the... Uh, look at these glasses up here. Isn't that amazing? And uh, I'm getting quite intrigued because I didn't preview this one beforehand. So I just uh, jumped on the web and put this one on. So we see this uh, brick style in the back there, terracotta color on our left-hand side. Uh, then uh, on the right, a very, very green kitchen, green cabinets. And then a green a splashback as well, or should we say behind the hob there. And then a massive TV on the right. Through to the French doors outside, and that indoor-outdoor flow is fantastic with the pool out there. Lots of leather around, and lots of this uh, terracotta brick style around as well. So very much in fitting with this uh, home. Now, what are we noticing here? A ginormous coffee machine. They have gone crazy. And why not? Why not when you've got $74.5 million house? Uh, amazing door in. Love the stone bench top here in green on both sides. The cabinetry is beautiful as well. Loving the door handles with a timber finish, it looks like, on those handles. That, that hard to see from the shot here, but they are beautiful. And if you look up the listing when we you click on the link below, you'll see that this photo in there. Uh, through to the outdoor. I'm going to call this a sun area, but it's almost... A, uh, it's certainly al fresco, but it's a massive glass table uh, and into that pizza oven there. So it's very nice with these uh, big glass windows here. And it looks like we've got glass above as well, keeping us out of the elements. I almost thought this was a wine barrel when I first started, but this is a stone uh, here. Just a <laughs> quite exquisite piece of furnishing here uh, in this home, in this oval office uh, type uh, library into a, another bedroom lots of Japanese furnishings around uh, Asian furnishing influence here, here massive uh, curtains and a lovely textured carpet as well out to that green evergreen garden with lovely lovely trees isn't this beautiful with the uh, timber uh, lacquered uh, flooring out onto this area just wonderful the uh, Dividers here are wonderful as well, but they don't really need them, but they've got them there for a bit of art 
uh, because those hedges are quite exceptional on their own. Look at this sunken bath here. Uh, isn't that quite exquisite there? Look at that and the shape of this dropping straight down in a straight line. Then there it is again, the black framing that we're seeing in buildings all around the world. Black uh, window frames are in right now. On the right, a black and silver framed mirror, which is rather beautiful. And then we've got a stone top with double sinks there and good cabinetry as well. Lovely garden outside of that uh, ensuite. And look at the double doors you're heading out your ensuite to go and relax outside. You don't see that on many homes either. Into this ginormous uh, shower. Look at all the shower spray outlets there and look how tall this shower actually is. Is that uh, 12 foot? Is that something like that? 12, 14 foot? But uh, and very nice little chairs out here in stone and uh, just a, a rather beautiful example of a shower that we have not seen before. Here we see the fireplace again with one of those secure uh, doors on it and we see the person who has won a few awards from Hollywood. Let's say one, two, three. So we're seeing an award winner here. So we're seeing someone who's in definitely in Hollywood and uh, we don't know what they do, but we know that they have won the big awards. And that's for sure, as we can see up here. The Golden Globes up on the uh, side here. Uh, then we're seeing this uh, incredible looking uh, coffee table. Now, I'm just taken by this one. Isn't that absolutely striking? The green here. And then we've got these lines on the ground here, uh, which give us a pattern uh, which looks like part of the carpet, but it pops out there quite nicely with a dimensional feel. Uh, the English, uh, English beams across the top that you'll see in the Cotswolds of England uh, in many thatch cottages. And, uh, but I'm taken by these awards. So we've got someone famous here to some degree or another. And uh, successful in Hollywood for sure. Got a Chanel book here, a lovely head headboard on this uh, very oatmeal looking uh, headboard, and a view outside, which is rather lovely when you think about the bedroom. Massage rooms, yes, green and pristine. And then into a theater room as well. What do you think of this one? Pretty nice leather couches, all sorts of stuff here. This is like a day bed. Look at this. Oh, no, no, we've got a massive, yeah, it's almost like a day bed that connects. So there you've got your theater and come library as well. And the framing around this uh, looks like something out of Rome or Egypt uh, with the style there. Uh, into the bar area, gray splashback and stone, marble, lovely. And then into the washroom with a black toilet. Don't see many black toilets around, but this is one of them. And uh, why not Hollywood for sure. Outside. Uh, beautiful views onto the pool and a lovely alfresco area. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at these. Uh, look at the manicuring of this garden. Look how massive this garden is. Loving these light shades as well. Very nice style and Art Deco style there. Into a huge pool and this outdoor area here with copper roof and uh, plantation type shutters there. But it looks like it lifts up as a whole door. So resort living at your home and the timber all the way along is beautiful as well. Simply striking, absolutely beautiful, a lovely experience living here. $74.5 million with this uh, Golden Globe winner. Uh, three Golden Globe awards in their cupboard, which we saw earlier. So we're talking money, we're talking status. Awesome sculpture out there. Looks like it's someone kicking a ball and... Uh, Couple of legs there, kicking a ball, and uh, should just have a soccer ball sitting there or over here. I guess they've kicked it, so it's not in the scene. And then outside the gym, nice as well. It's good. Oh, wow, that's a big gym actually. When we see it, and a nice interior here too. Into this uh, extra room here, which looks like a almost a um, masonette addition here. To uh, it's got its own kitchen area. Uh, but it could also be a treatment room as well. Looks like there was some natural oils there too. Outside, you've got your own pond here with the bubbles kicking up here and all these wonderful uh, plants that associate to that. Sitting outside, relaxing. You're in the Beverly Hills, but you feel like you're a world away from Hollywood. Uh, but just a wonderful setting. Loving this fountain here on the stone with Los Angeles in the back. And uh, there we have it. Double doors out. Looks like they've got another reward here. And it's just a beautiful home. It's an all-rounder. This is a real, absolute, and total Oscar-winning 
performance from this uh, rather amazing uh, property. Look at the size. It is exquisite. Landscaping to boot everywhere. Massive trees from yesteryear. Beautiful huge pool. Lovely green area. Uh, huge floor plan. It is just exquisite. And there it is. Set high in the Beverly Hills. 90210. Hope you enjoyed that. It's fantastic. It is one of Beverly Hills' most private and secluded estates. I'm stealing the lines because it is so true. Carrillo Drive, $74.5 million. I enjoyed that. Hope you did too. Join us next time. Please like, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.